Right, so they built this facility to give a, us a capability which doesn't exist anywhere else. And that capability is really in the area of ultra-trace nuclear measurements, me measuring extraordinarily minute quantities of radioactively uh, decaying materials. This is central for a range of missions. And the way that this facility accomplishes that is that in order to be successful, you've got to learn to discriminate again between the, the ambient background of radioactive materials and, and radioactive emissions and the things that you're looking for. And you can do this in several ways. You can do this through shielding, big piles of lead and things of that nature. You can do that anywhere. We do that. You can do that through clever detection schemes and methods, and we do that. But at the end of the day, you're gonna run into the problem of, the, of the, the activity, the fact that on the surface of the earth, all materials gradually become radioactive because of a process called cosmic ray spallation. So the only way you can really address these problems is to move underground, and by moving even 50 feet underground as we do here, that gets rid of roughly 99% of this problem of self-activation. And so that gives us an environment where we can work at much lower background levels and perfect the methods and technologies uh, and then deploy them around the world for a variety of missions. So our broad goal as an organization is to lessen the risk of what we'd call weapons of mass effect or weapons of mass destruction. And among the, the central missions there is of course nuclear non-proliferation, trying to prevent the spread of nuclear weapons, weapons of mass destruction uh, broadly. Um, the kinds of capabilities in here are central to those missions in a variety of ways. Uh, a couple of years ago this was very wonderfully demonstrated by the uh, tragedy in Fukushima, Japan, and it was the capabilities represented by this facility and the people and equipment and expertise that, 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 that uses it that, that enabled the first detection of the radioactive plume at extraordinarily low levels as it, as it entered North America, actually uh, roughly speaking on the west coast of the, uh, the northwest of uh, the United States. And we, that was a, a landmark measurement that was made with the capabilities in here. Making ultra-trace nuclear measurements is not something you just decide to do and then two years later after spending a million dollars or whatever, you're in that business. This is something that has been a focus of this laboratory for 50 years. That means the people that we've been cultivating and developing and recruiting to this laboratory for 50 years, the equipment, the methods, and frankly, just the reputation that has come from 50 years. Now, why does it take so long? Because when you're making measurements that are this sensitive, these measurements themselves can sometimes take weeks or months. It can take years to figure out what's the limitation that's, that represents the leading background that you're fighting at this point in time, and then further years to, to, to learn how to eliminate that and move on to the next background. So it's been a gradual, month by month, year by year improvement in our ability to make measurements that has led eventually to this facility as the next logical step.